This week, Ideal Power announced the completion of a qualification of a wafer fabrication supplier with high volume production capability. Adding this supplier provides a high quality source for device fabrication with ample capacity to support anticipated customer demand. And with me is CEO Dan Bradar to explain a little bit more about this. Now, this has to do with the B-Trans system as well, right? So explain That's correct. How, okay, set this up for us. Explain how all this works together. Yeah, sure. You know, our focus is bringing a new technology to the market, the semiconductor technology called BTRAN. And it's really all about making the use of power more efficient. So for a lot of applications that we use every day, uh, electric vehicles, solar, energy storage, they all rely on semiconductors for power conversion to set the voltage and current and so forth. And what our technology does is it's a much more efficient way to use it. So for your electric vehicle, you get more range. If you have solar in your business or your home, you get more useful kilowatt hours. And that's the technology we're now bringing to the marketplace. Okay. And this also works with large electric vehicles as well. It does. Cost and range are two big issues for all electric vehicles. And our technology really helps significantly improve both of those issues. So it can help facilitate adoption. Okay. Now you kind of address this a little bit, but explain how the B-TRAN technology, how it could have the potential to displace conventional semiconductor operations. Yeah, you know, traditional semiconductors that are out there today, they're made with silicon, and they've kind of reached the limit of their performance. But you get to the point where you just can't get them significantly better. And what BTRAN does, it's an architecture. So it's a brand new way of configuring silicon to actually make a switch. So as a result, you can extend the performance capability of silicon to be even more efficient and then as more advanced materials become lower cost and more widely available and better quality, BTRAN, because it's an architecture, can be made in those advanced materials as well. So it has a long impact in terms of the performance improvements that it can bring to power semiconductor switching. Now, of course, as we look globally to save energy, this is one solution because chips are just so important to everything that we do. They are, and you know, and our society is becoming increasingly electrified. I mean, we're moving to electricity, not just for heat or for cooking, but clearly electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging, people putting solar on their homes and lots of other applications. So we really want to get as much useful energy out of those applications as possible. And that's where semiconductors can play a pretty big role. Now, how does this impact your research and development program? Well, this is really the fruition of the work that we've been doing the last couple of years of learning how to make our device, because it's not made the way traditional semiconductors are made. Usually, silicon wafers are processed on one side, but our technology is processed on both sides of the wafer. So that involves some complications that you got to go figure out in a wafer fabrication facility. We've done that. This is now about scaling it up so that we can have devices made in large volume and high quality so we can start to commercialize the technology and serve our customers. Okay, so I guess that's the next step. I know you've reached several milestones recently. Is the next step the scaling of this? Yeah, it is. We're engaged with a couple of the top 10 automakers in the world. We're engaged with large solar providers, and they're eager to get their hands on what we consider to be the commercially ready product so they can start to evaluate it and eventually incorporate it into their designs for their products. And what about investors? What should they know? Now, you're publicly traded here at the NASDAQ. What mm -hmm. should investors know or potential investors know about what you've got in the pipeline? We are pretty public about what we're going to accomplish for the year. We said that we are going to be announcing our first commercial product, which we've already done. We announced that we're going to qualify this high volume fab, which we've just done. We have a project with the Navy where we're doing a solid state circuit breaker with a company called Diversified Technologies. We said we're going to announce the completion of our deliveries onto that program here shortly. That'll be happening. And we're going to be announcing our next commercial product a little bit later this year. And we're going to be announcing shipments for those customers that have engaged with us to evaluate the technology that are big companies that people would recognize the names of. Okay. Finally, how can somebody get more information about Ideal Power? The best way is go to our website, www.idealpower.com. They can learn about the company, the technology, and if they have questions, there's an opportunity for them to submit their questions about the company through the website. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Always great to get caught up on what's going on at Ideal Power. Thanks for having me, Jane. Thank you.